waking up to ocean waves is out of this world. Hello people of YouTube. Uh, I am in Haiti right now. I decided to take a trip down here and just uh, experience something new, kind of get away from work. But of course, whenever anything's so pretty like this, I just kind of have to shoot it. So today I want to give you a basic introduction of light natural light. Let me first preface this by saying that most of these tips are for portraits because that's what I shoot. Uh, I'm sure some of these work for landscapes but I'm not really the expert on that. Now there's technically like a million different scenarios of how natural light you know can come in or if you're inside or outside or if you're under greenery or if you're next to sand or concrete or whatever it is but I'm gonna explain it in basically two separate things. So let's get started. So there are basically two kinds of natural light. One is direct natural light, which I'm walking into right now, and the other is indirect natural light, which I'm kind of in right now. Here are my two rules. So it's around 11 a.m. right now, which means the sun is super, super high. It'll be a little bit different as it gets lower, but pretty much the same concept applies. Rule number one, if you're in direct light, that means the sun is actually hitting your subject. You want your camera pointed at the sun. So here we are in some direct light, and so there's two reasons why we do this. One is that if you're not wearing sunglasses, you kind of have to squint. It's pretty, it's pretty rough going directly into the sun. You also kind of get some super dark, deep shadows. So uh, to correct both of these things, spin it around. Oh my gosh, now I can open up my eyes. Uh, my face is even. The light on my face is really nice. I don't have to worry about wearing sunglasses. There's a halo over my head. Uh, that's coming from the light that's being a rim and then also all of the leaves or foliage in the background if you have some They get lit up really beautifully. So again, here's the difference It's kind of squinty everything's really bright Or like this it's nice and even on my face now a situation where you would want to use direct light You know is to really bring out a lot of the colors which if you're wearing sunglasses or getting a candid shot or you're shooting landscapes or something like that it can be totally perfect, but friends and family you're outdoors put the sun behind their head, like this. All right, so let's take a minute to talk about indirect light. So indirect light is anytime the sun isn't actually hitting your face. So we've got this awning, this overhang, we're in the shade. So the key with this when you're taking pictures is always to have the person taking the picture have their back to the lightest point in the area. Or if you think about it in reverse, to have the person whose subject it is, to have them point their nose towards the brightest area. So behind we've got the beach, the sun shining, and so this is the ideal setup for shooting indirect light. So let's show you the opposite. So right now I'm at the edge of this tent right here, where my nose is pointing towards the dark area, my back is pointing towards all of the bright area, and the camera's pointing towards the bright area. So here my face is either gonna be dark or the background is gonna be too bright. So when you're in this situation, you can do this inside as well from a window. Whichever it is, have the photographer put their back to the window and have the person who's getting their picture taken put their nose towards that window. So here's a spot right on the edge of where the sun is hitting and needing the shade. Uh, we've got these trees as kind of a, an overhang. So in this section you might say, ooh, this would be a really good picture because of all of the bright scenery behind us, but I'm not getting any sun on my face. So if we do just turn around just like this, you'll see all this light is coming, wow, that's so bright. Uh, all this light is coming in and hitting my face and lighting me up, lighting up my eyes. And in the background now, we're in even dynamic range with our backgrounds so that you can kind of see everything that's happening. So one more time, beautiful scenery, nothing on my face. Also beautiful scenery, but light on my face. Okay, so here's an example of a more overcast day. The light is directional. It has a, it has a starting point, but it's not harsh. I don't actually have the sun hitting my face. I have all of this greenery that's blocking the light from coming here, but I have all of this bright open gray that's sending light. The most overall softbox is going to be coming from this direction. Anything in this area is, is just not going to look very good. So again, point your nose towards the brightest area of the scene where the most light is coming from. This is our resident photographer this trip, Dave. What's up, man? Dave so here. 
Do you just have like one quick natural lighting tip? Yeah, um, my favorite lighting is windows. So if there's any sort of portal to the outside, just put somebody next to that, have them look out it, and you'll catch a brilliant light on their face. Brilliant, thanks man. Yeah, cheers. All right, so this is Brian. He started Kin Travel. We're doing a quick interview with him. We chose this particular location because as we were talking about, he's got a dark background behind him, which means no light is going to be coming from there. We've got all of this open area just really coming in. We have a little bit of the bounce coming from the sand there that's going to be lighting him up as well. This is a little bit more of a side lit scenario as you'll see. And our sun is behind us here, so even as time goes on, if it keeps coming, it's just going to give a little halo light over his hair, which I think is just barely starting to do now. Um, I think the best thing that people find here is they, they fill up to a point of overflow. So you come here, you, you rest, you get somewhere deeper in yourself, you, you know what you are uniquely positioned to do here. All right, so that's pretty much the tutorial, guys. Uh, so the first thing is, if it's direct light, try and shoot backlit, the sun behind your subject. If it's indirect light, uh, you want your subject's nose pointed towards the brightest space. Now you can do, you know, make this more contrasty and shoot side lit and all of those things, but in general, those two things are gonna really improve your photographs. Also, this works with like any camera. It doesn't have to be this camera. It obviously works with video, with photo. It works with iPhones. So just get out there and try it out and see what works for you. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you have any more questions about uh, anything photography related, video related, leave a comment uh, below and I'll hope to answer all of those questions for you guys. It's been real, it's been fun. I'm gonna get back to my vacation. See you guys in the next one. Hey.